Hello YouTube, I'm Pedro from the Wicked Cat team. On the last video, we talked about the anchors and how to use them in order to build your own UI. Today, we are going to add several components to our scene UI in order to create a menu for our game. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like, and if you want more Unity 5 tutorials, remember to subscribe to our channel. Now, to begin, Let's first delete our button that we created on the previous videos and I'm going to show you why we are going to do this in a minute because if we actually select, for example, uh, add a new object for example an image, what will happen is that every time you add a new UI element to the canvas it will be drawn over what you had before so you can actually change the order by dragging the image behind the button but as and I'm not, now I messed it up completely uh, but the best practice is actually to start by the background and add more stuff as you move along so I, because of that I'm just going to delete our button here so right now we have an empty canvas so like I said the first thing we are actually going to do is to add a background for our in for our menu so to do that, I already have a background here, which I downloaded from the internet, so I'm going to leave you guys the link in the description below so you guys can download the image as well, and we are actually going to use this wallpaper as a background image, okay, for our menu. So first things first, let's select the canvas here on the hierarchy, right click with, with the button and select UI and let's select image okay so this will create a new game object called call it image which contains as you guys can see here on the inspector a rec transform and the image component okay so the image is a non-interactive non UI component that displays a sprite texture so as you guys can see it also has several values you have source image here you guys can tell the sprite to use you can also change the color if you want, as you guys can see here. And can also set the material. And you can also see set the, the image, the component to native size, and we are going to see what this does in a minute. So before anything else, if you guys actually, as you guys can see, already have the background in Unity. So if I actually try to use this background just a, just a second so if I'm going to show you, I want to show you guys something so okay so when you actually import this background to unity you have to keep in mind you have to be careful about something once you import it unity will import it as a texture okay but if you actually select the image and if you try to drag it to the source image this will not work why because the component only works with sprites so in order to use this image as a background for our UI we actually have to go here select the the background from our project view and here on texture type we actually have to change it to sprite 2d and UI we just select it and you actually click on apply okay and now we should be able to drag it over the source image as you guys can see so keep in mind that you guys have to do that before you can actually use the image on the on the background okay so all right we already have the image now let's first off change some parameters here to begin with let's change the name from image to background Alright, so we have our background game object. Next thing you want to make sure is that uh, the X and Y position are both set to zero. Okay, which is the case. So if you guys actually go here, you can see that our background is centered in our game view. However, we actually have a problem as you guys can see because um, the background in us is not on in the size of our uh, game window so you cannot actually see that it's much smaller than the canvas 
So in order to solve this, I'm actually going to use this button here, set native size that actually will make the image get its full size, right? Because right now it's not on its full size, it's just you need to shrink rate the, the image in order to fit in this little square. So I'm going to set native size. And as you guys can see now, my background is much bigger now. However, it's even bigger than my canvas. So if I actually go here you, to my game view, you guys can see that background is not entirely on the on my game scene. So we have a lot of background outside and we actually want it to be all inside our our view so in order to do that um, we are actually going to use the colored canvas scaler which is a little script component that you guys can find can find in the canvas game object right and another thing before we actually show you guys this is if you actually change the resolution as you guys see here the image will be cropped and this is not what we want so again going back to the canvas here on the scene um, you can actually solve this by changing some options here on this component all right so as you can see here we can actually select a total of three options constant pixel size scale with screen size and constant physical size so the first one constant pixel size makes all user interface elements retain the same pixel size regardless of the screen size so this is the default value for the canvas and if you get if you actually take a look at this is actually what's happening so the image will retain the same pixel size regarding of the size of the screen so this is why because the image is bigger than our canvas okay the next option scale with screen size the user interface elements are sized and positioned in accordance to a reference resolution if the current resolution is larger than the prefers the preferred resolution then the canvas will maintain the reference resolution while scaling up the elements to match the target resolution and finally, the last option, constant physical size, the positions of the user interface elements are specified in a physical unit such as millimeters or points, for example. This requires the correct reporting of the screen DPI, so I honestly not a big fan of this last one. So we are actually going to select, for our case, scale with screen size. As you guys can see, uh, it seems that is even bigger now all right this happens because we actually need to change some options still all right so first things first um, let's set the reference resolution to match our background right so if you guys see here we have 800 by 600 however if we actually take a look at our image um, we actually have an, a different resolution right here so what we actually want to do is to set this resolution into here so let's start by doing that and if I'm exactly and all right so we have it right now so also you want to slide the you want to slide the match width or height all the way to the right so like this so you can actually enter one because this is value go from zero to one so you can actually enter just one here so once you do this we will notice that the background image now works just fine and is on our canvas so you can actually go here and as you guys can see in our game view we can actually see now the entire background and if we actually change the resolution we actually going to see the background perfect all right so 
So this is our lesson for today. On the next lesson, we will start by adding some more components to the menu, like the title for our game and perhaps some buttons. I hope you guys enjoy today's lesson, so you guys learned how to use image and create a background for our menu. Hope you see you guys on the next video, until then, have a nice day.